Speaking a day before the opening of the UN General Assembly, U.S. President Donald Trump urged member states to abandon ways of the past which are not working. While the United Nations on a regular budget has increased by 140 percent and its staff has more than doubled since 2000, we are not seeing the results in line with this investment. Trump, who has been critical of the United Nations in the past, said the World Organization needs to regain the trust of people around the world. In order to achieve this, the United Nations must hold every level of management accountable, protect whistleblowers, and focus on results rather than on process. Trump urged world leaders to adopt bold reforms that would enable the UN to focus more on people, less on bureaucracy. He expressed confidence in the reform vision laid out by Guterres. We pledge to be partners in your work, and I am confident that if we work together and champion truly bold reforms, the United Nations will emerge as a stronger, more effective, more just, and greater force for peace and harmony in the world. Guterres said the UN must streamline the way it functions in order to better serve the global community. We have launched a game-changing strategy to end sexual exploitation and abuse. We have embarked on plans to achieve gender parity in the UN, to protect whistleblowers and strengthen counterterrorism structures. And we are reforming our peace and security architecture to ensure we are stronger in prevention, more agile in mediation, and more effective and cost-effective in peacekeeping operations. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley called on members who have not yet signed the U.S. Declaration of Support for the U.N. overhaul to do so as soon as possible. The United States believes we can make history by coming together as a true global community for reform. So far, two-thirds of the 193 U.N. members have pledged to support the reforms. No. China and Russia are not among them. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.